Welcome to The Goal Line. I'm Wally Shaver. The Thanksgiving trek to Michigan didn't prove as thankful as the Golden Gopher hockey team had hoped for as they suffered a loss on Friday night against Michigan State and then came back with a tie on the Saturday rematch. The two, game, uh, two non-conference game schedule against the Spartans replaced the former college hockey showcase which dissolved after last season. In Friday's loss, Minnesota fell behind by a 2 to nothing count, but then rallied back to gain a 2-all tie, which stood until the third period. Two more goals in the first five minutes of the third put Michigan State back up by a pair. Then Nick Bukestad scored his second goal of the game in team-leading 15th of the year to pull the Gophers within one. But despite a huge 43-23 shot on goal advantage, they couldn't find the tying marker. Saturday night, Minnesota again had to rally from behind, trailing one to nothing after one and then three to two after two periods of play. Minnie launched another 39 shots on goal, but couldn't secure a split in the series, coming away with just a tie on the weekend. Still holding down first place in the WCHA, Minnesota will host Minnesota State Mankato this Friday and Saturday. The Mavericks have been hit with a slew of injuries in the first half of the season and currently sit in last place in the league after a loss and a tie against Alaska Anchorage last weekend. The Gophers remain the second highest scoring team in college hockey and fifth overall in the nation in team defense. Forward Nick Bugstad is tied for first in the nation in scoring and with his 15 goals, he has now scored more goals than any Gopher in each of the past two seasons. Gophers Kyle Rao and Eric Halla, along with defenseman Nate Schmidt, are all ranked in the top 20 in the nation in scoring. For the goal line, I'm Wally Schaefer.